Hey everybody, it's Marianne and we are live and in person. Let's see, okay. So today I'm gonna show you a early, well, I've been showing uh, on some of my other things. Today's card, woohoo! Is that cool or what? I think so. So um, this was inspired by another, oh, I can't look because I have my phone up there. <clears throat> There's another card maker in, I don't, they don't do Stampin' Up, but she did a card like this and I thought the new stamp set from Butterfly Bouquet, which is coming out, if you are not a Stampin' Up demonstrator, this, this is the stamp. Okay, and that, and plus die cuts, die, dies, yeah, dies, <laughs> are going to be available March 2nd for customers. And I hope if you want one, you are going to be um, involved in that because they are beautiful. It's really cute. So this is the card we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to make that. Um, but just as an, uh, I let you know, our... Um, specials are going to end tomorrow. The, um, the one where you get, the dogs just came in, I got confused. The one where you get a, um, every $50 you spend, you get a gift from the catalog, the celebration catalog, which I'm looking desperately for it right now and I can't seem, can't seem to locate it. I can't stand why everything gets all confused. I must have moved it to look at it for something. Oh well, I apologize. I apologize. Well, here's here's one. No, that's not it. But while we're talking about it, if you need a catalog, please let me know. If you don't have a demonstrator already to give you one, I would be very happy to help you. And so today, let's get a little closer so you can see. Um, just so you can see, there is a starter kit for $99, and you get to pick whatever you want. So if you have like $125 worth of product that you would like to get, um, you can get it for $99. Um, it's really easy and fun, and you're not obligated to do anything, actually. Once, you know, once you've gotten your starter kit, you just... Have at it, it's fun. And you get to do it all in your spare time. That's what we're doing today. So let's get on to it. Um, one of the other things I did wanna to mention to you is that I am having my very first card class um, in March. March 20th is the day we're gonna have the card class. And if you would like to join, um, you need to register by March 10th, which is the latest. And we will be using the this particular stamp set so um that could be one of the ones that you get there isn't it so adorable i love this okay but we're not this one is um um a little bit more complicated but it uses white cardstock and we call this now basic white let me let me adjust so hang on i have to adjust a little bit there we go um that's better. And we have two full-size sheets of, well, I say it's two full-size sheets, eight and a half by 11 basic white cardstock. And I use the markers, the Stampin' Blends, but I only use one color. So we're gonna take that out. First off, let's get started, shall we? Yay! Here we go. All right. So, um, and I will post the name of the person that I am, got this inspiration from. And I'm sure it's not something that's totally new. So, um, taking out my cardstock and my, um, what is this? Stampin' Score, I don't know what it's called, to be honest with you. I'm really bad about that stuff. 
you know, I think maybe it would be best if I didn't, uh, if I didn't do that. Let me tell you where you can send me, here you go. You can send me an email if you need any information. I'd be happy to help you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I want to score this at four and a quarter. Scoring. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. Okay. There we go. And just to um, be on the safe side, I'm going to take another one and I'm going to, let me see. I think I'm going to cut it at five and a half first on this one. So I don't think I need to score it. And I'm um, going to cut this at four and a quarter. All right, so um, basically what you want is these are going to go on the backs, just so that you know. Because when you're using the Stampin', uh, Stampin Blends to color, um, it comes through. All right, and so as not to make it look so nasty and makes it look a little nicer. Gives it a little weight to the card, but then this is a nice little decoration, don't you think? And if you wanted to put a thank you or congratulations or something, you could do that. I'm not doing it here because I'm kind of liking it like that. And you could put a sentiment in here or on the back, okay? Let's go. Let's get rid of this thing, please. Let's turn that off. There we go. All right, so that you can follow along. Here it is. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I've got everything folded and burnished. And this is how I like to do it, is just to, because even though I measure everything and I really do need to, oh dang, look what I did. I made it nasty, but it's okay. We live with it. It's just a sample. And I'm gonna do it on this side as well, mixing, mix, meeting the corners. One of the things I noticed is that sometimes, even though cardstock, the standard size is the standard size, I find that sometimes when I, like if I want to score this at two and an eighth and two and an eighth on these sides for um, that kind of card, sometimes the middle isn't four and an eighth. And I was confused by that, so. All right, so what you're going to do is you're gonna take the two cards and sort of plop them in together like this. So that it's like, you're looking at the cards like this and you're just gonna do this, all right? Now to be able to get that correct, I'm going to move this over here. I'm gonna take some of my tape and just do the edging. And then should be able to fold it over and everything will sit nice. You can use glue or what have you, whatever works for you. There we go, nice. And then when you open it, ta-da, right? Okay. So that's fine, except for we're going to be folding it this way. This one is gonna go towards the back and this stays in the front. Now, taking out a, our paper trimmer again, and this time <clears throat> we're opening it up and we're gonna go from this edge here to down here. And it really depends on what you feel like doing. I'm just gonna do it at 
I, the last one I did was at three inches, came up about three inches. So if you wanted to mark it, that's fine. I, I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm keeping my, I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna go like this. And <clears throat> I'm gonna back out so you can see, I hope. So, a little bit more, bringing it up, like so. There's the corner of the one fold. That's the back end. This is the front end. This is roughly three inches right here. It's really up to you. You can also use a pair of scissors if you like. And then you have this fold here. Let me show you. Simple. See? Ta-da! Why does that look backwards right now? Ah. Yeah, I can't help it. This is my life. There we go. <laughs> See? It's easy to fix things, make them better. All right. That's it. Now, for my, um, for the card itself, this is going to be a little bit more difficult to do. And when I say difficult, I don't mean that it's really difficult. It's really got to pay attention to what you're doing. So you're going to need two pieces of scrap paper. And I'm just going to... Grab some that I have on the side here. Okay. Now the two scrap pieces of paper are for inside here because when you when you stamp, you're gonna need to protect the back ends. So you're gonna stamp here. You're gonna move that out. You're gonna take this off. You're gonna stamp here. You're gonna move that out. You're gonna take this off and you're gonna stamp here. So, just so that we can start off right. I'm starting in the back, okay? And I'm gonna use Memento ink. Let me get some room here because it's a little, little tight. And as you see, I already have it um, laid out here so I know when I put my card down that I get most of my image. I'm going to lose some of it up here. So if I don't want to lose that, and I want to keep it, then I would put it up here. It's up to you. I prefer to have to lose the bottom rather than the top. So I'm going to put that there. Alrighty. And then I'm going to prep my stamp by just putting on some ink. I'm using Memento ink. I think, I don't know. You could use Stazon. I, I think the thing is we're supposed to use Stazon with, oh gosh, I get so confused. I think you're supposed to use the memento with alcohol. I'm not sure. All right, so we're coming over. <sighs> oh, there we go. Rubbing it down. And I have my heat gun out because once I've uh, done this, I'm going to... Let me check. Oh, that looks pretty good. I want to use my heat gun, so it's going to get a little loud. I apologize. Cover your ears. Hey, Anastasia. Thank you. Did you see the card? Let me show you. Oh, the doggies are going. Let me show you the card if you didn't get to see it. 
Is that awesome? Okay, so now we have that part done. We're gonna bring this around like this and making sure we have it hit. One of the things you have to make sure you do is that you keep it in a spot, pretty much the same spot you had before. And since I don't really have that much room, I'm gonna pop that there. And I'm taking the scrap, and I'm putting the scrap here. And then we're going to fold this over there. And again, we're going to do this. So, boom. One of the nice things about using the, um, this to do your stamping is it really makes a much better did I do the bottom right? Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to make sure the bottom is right. So that's why I have the stamped piece behind it. Okay, it looks good. And that way I can just check to make sure I have it in the right spot. Of course, you can use your magnets. But it's a pretty big stamp. And oddly enough, I didn't cut it apart because I am known to cut apart the stamps. Doesn't mean I won't do so in the future, but I'm really liking this stamp so much. Okay, let's just check to see if it's right. Booyah, looks good. Okay, that's there. We need a third. So we're gonna cover that up, All right? Oops, wait, wait, we gotta dry it. I just, I get so excited, I wanna just keep going. <laughs> All right, that's good. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna get ink on our stamp again. Boom, 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 boom. And the fun part is the coloring, I think. And, you know, you could use one color, which I could try to do on this one so you could see what it would look like if you just did one color. And guess what I did? <laughs> I forgot to flip this over. <laughs> I got so excited. Alrighty. crack myself up. All right, let's try it again. Oh my God. All right, so giving it a nice press. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to show you how that looks. I'll pull that over, get this out of the way. And just with black and white. Now, you probably see all the little edges that I made. I don't mind it right now because I'm just showing you how it's going. Look at that. Look, my first one, I didn't get any smudges. This one, I got some smudges. But here's the thing. We're gonna color this first and then I'm gonna show you how to hide the backgrounds. Because when you color with uh, Stampin' Blends, it kind of soaks through. It's like the alcohol markers, they soak through. So I'm gonna start on the back. And I think I said I was gonna do one color. So I'm gonna choose the purple one because that's just how I roll. And I'm taking the light and the dark. And I'm not doing fancy, fancy um, coloring. I'm just going to outline, come in and around. And I suggest, because I did it with the other one, I suggest you color their little bodies uh, with a dark color. 
and it goes really, really fast. Now, like I said, I did different colors here. Let me bring you down. Come on down. There we go. And I'm just gonna do all the same color so you can see a difference. You can make your own choices. Um, let's do the little guys first. I hope you're having a good day and know that you're worth it. You're worthy of it. I get my second shot Tuesday. Yay! And on the big one, I'm just going to do, I'm going to try using the dark and the light together and see what happens. All right, let's make it interesting. Okay, and which one is this? This is the dark Highland Heather. I'm going to come in here. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, don't you think? I think so. You can really bump up this. If you go into the darker spots, the inky, the inked spots, it really does make a, um, it gives the shadow to the coloring that you're doing. So it really doesn't take very much thought on your end, you know what I'm saying? Go. And I'm gonna make them purple. Are you close enough to get a good look? Now, when you do this, the best bet is to go and make sure that you cover anything on the front page correctly. This is a little off, but it is what it is. And you're going to take your time with it. I'm rushing so that we can get through this and you can go and stamp. Let's close this and do the front of this one. And remember, this is, I'm using the light on the outside and the dark on the inside. Boom. go in here and we do this one and then I'm going to show you what we do about the backs which is real easy and then you can go and have fun boom we're going to go over here bring this down make sure we cover him Okay, so you see here and here, right, is 
So bring it back out a little bit so you can follow along. The reason why you don't get anything on this one is because this is already doubled, okay? So the two pieces that we did, oh, where did I put them? Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Okay, so we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put this back here. one on the back of this now if you wanted to do this ahead of time you could but as you can see I'm covering up my little marks I made from the ink and you want to make sure you stay away from the score line so that it can fold all right and I'm just going to do this with my scissors because you could do it on your cutting tool. There it is. Yes, I see that I made a mistake here. But you know what? When it's sitting like this, it's not going to matter, right? Look, it, it's not going to matter. Just doesn't matter. I'm going to continue to color. I hope you stay with me. Please give me a like, subscribe, and a share so that we can grow our community of crafters. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, and don't forget, if you haven't taken advantage of Celebration, tomorrow is the last time you can order. It ends after that. And I believe if you become a member of the Stampin' Up! family, as a demonstrator, you get five packs of DSP, which is, I think, 200. It's a six by six pack, and I think there are 200 pages to them. And they are going to be coming out in the next catalog. So you'll have a you'll be up to date beaten ahead of all the rest of us. So I'm just coloring in. Now, one of the things I would say to you is just remember that when you color something, that you remember to color the other ones that are the same, in the same way. So that, so if you color this one yellow, you color all of them yellow. If you color this one blue, you color them all blue. All right. And I think that's it. Let's look. So here's an interesting thing. My doggies are um, pretty old. And my one dog... She's drinking an awful lot, so we asked the doctor about, yeah, I asked the doctor if it could be um, related to diabetes of some sort, you know, blood sugar. And they said, oh, it's a possibility, but they would need, you know, they think it could be also kidney related, and they would like a... A urine sample. Have you ever tried to get a urine sample from a Chihuahua? You know, there's not much there's not much space between where it comes out and where it ends on the on the ground, and so trying to put something underneath to catch is difficult in the least. So. First time I tried to do it, I scared the bejeebies out of her. And she like took off about two feet in front of me. I don't know how this, this is gonna work. We've been trying. In the meantime, we deal. 
So this one, I'm gonna put the light on the inside and down here. I'm gonna show you something in a second. I want you to see. See, there's no, there's no, if you have a double card on there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a problem. Unless you just soak it with marker. There we go. And, oops, one more. <laughs> this one. So when I, I particular this particular one where I'm choosing to put the lighter mark or the lighter ink in a particular spot, I make sure that I go through all of them so that they they're all in the same area and I'm not I'm sure it wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem I mean it wouldn't be a really big deal I don't think you visually will see very much especially if the cards just sitting on a counter but there we go that's it and go to the front second one. Just want to say if you would like to be entered in to receive a um, pack of dimensionals for everybody that, well not everybody, for I will choose somebody out of all of those who share this video and I will send them a pack of dimensionals. Hopefully you all know what dimensionals are. Those are the things we put on the back of a sentiment or a bow. They look like this. So I'll give you a full pack and I think there are two sheets, two full sheets like this, two of these. And then you can play with them and see if you like them. Everybody loves dimensionals. Okay, and on this one, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I get the body colored in the same color as what I'm using. Actually, I, I'm kind of liking the all purple, to be frank. Something like this. Do you know of anybody who would love to get a purple card? Or maybe they're they have a different kind of color that they love that you could do all butterflies in. And you know what's kind of cool? If you think about it, if you know somebody who likes to color, wouldn't that be a nice, just send them this and they can color it themselves? <laughs> Do-it-yourself card. Sort of like watching grass grow, watching somebody color. But I kind of like having this time to spend with you. And if you weren't able to get um, prepped enough to come and join me, I'm sorry. Maybe you can replay this and have your things there and follow along. And I think you could do what, as long as it's a stamp that has, um, and use a black and white, make sure you hit the same spot. 
I imagine you could put a bunch of stamps on the on the platform as long as it fills the page and makes some sort of uh, the same thing. So there's this one. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed having you with me and I am so very happy that we got to be together. And I will see you next time. Bye.